Pippin is any good, someone will steal it and make it for the Linux. So speaking of Apple, he sold a million oh, yeah. videos in 20 days. I think it's catching on. You know, and this is with $2 a video for basically crap TV shows. Uh, some other people would say they're not crap TV shows, but I say they're crap TV shows. <laughs> I agree that most of them are crap, but I like certain TV shows. Well, there there are good TV shows, but none of them are available for $2 an episode from Apple. No, they're not. I, you, I can't get my Oz. <laughs> yeah, it's a wonderful show. Ed Abizi pricked me with an AIDS-infected needle. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> but... You know, imagine if they had, you know, real deal, you know, full on everything. Just put on old things that aren't on TV anymore and charge 50 cents for them. You're making zero dollars off of them now. You could be making hundreds of thousands of dollars off of them now for I guess no you cost. You buy all that stuff in DVD box sets that cost a lot of money. Not everything. There's still a lot of things that haven't made it to DVD box set yet. Yeah, but a lot of things have. A lot of things have. But Remember our box set of old crappy Hitchcock movies? Yeah, but I mean. That actually comes out to be cheaper than the downloading, that box. But, like, BBC's putting the Monty Python full things for download. Yeah, yeah. You know? But I bought the whole DVD box. So. Well, that was you got it for a present. You wouldn't have bought it. It was so much money. I would have bought it for the price they paid for it. Yeah. They bought it at, like, Costco, which is uh, kind of like Sam's. Right. So they got it for nothing anyway. Anything else going on? Uh... There really wasn't much. I mean, I went to the city all weekend, and I didn't really read the interwebs all weekend. No. So I kind of missed out on whatever happened. But I did find something cool. It's huh. probably old, but it's cool. It's a website dedicated to spoiling things, like movies and books and anime and whatever. Oh, so I guess that could be useful, but also incredibly painful. Yeah, it's really useful. Like, I wanted to find out how a stupid show ended, so I looked like, oh, so-and-so dies and, and then marries so-and-so. Hey, hey, if the show, like, are there shows where, like, you see the ending, but you still don't know what happened? Does it explain those? Yes, yes. Here, I'll go into one. Go uh, to Evangelion. I'm going to see what it I'm says. going into Donnie Darko. Oh, I saw Everyone's that. seen Donnie Darko. All right, there's about... <laughs> this is a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> All right, it describes in extremely great detail. It does not only spoils it, it explains why what it's telling you spoils it, and then explains in great detail the scenes that actually do the spoiling. Now, is this guy, is this one guy writing all this, or is this like a wiki, or what it's is this? It's like a wiki. It acts like a wiki, and it looks like a wiki. I don't think it's actually a wiki. Are people, I, are people like, editing it? In, or, or Like, it, it has some stubs, and people are adding entries. Like, there's one listing for every James Bond movie ever. <laughs> and it says, Bond's right-hand man dies. Bond gets the girl. Another girl dies. He doesn't die, and the villain does die. Awesome. <laughs> the coolest thing I saw today was the Jack PC. Ah, I saw a picture of that thing. So it's it's a PC. Well, first, there was 3Com made the hub that you put in the wall. Yep, and the it Switch. Goes, Oh, they made a switch also? Yeah, they made the switch right after they made the uh, hub. They basically just, you take your outlet out of your wall and you put this hub in there <laughs> and you run network cable to it and, well, there you go. Or you guess you could cut a hole in the wall. Yeah, yeah. They made the Jack PC now, which is just, you cut a hole in the wall. You put this computer, it's, you know, not so big. It fits a hole in the wall. It has a DVI, a head, uh, headphone in and out, microphone in, I guess, and then four USBs. Huh. So you just plug the DVI cable to a monitor. You plug in a keyboard and mouse of USB. You have two USBs left. You push a button on it. A light turns on, and you have a computer. I take it it's not that powerful, considering, you know, heating and... It has a... Uh, I, th I think it had a very, very low-power embedded AMD-type processor, ah. which is actually still good enough. And the one problem with it is it comes with the Windows CE. Ah! Ah! Ah, uh, the Windows CE. Ah! But um, I imagine if you were mad slick, you could either A, um, switch up the OS that's in the Flash by taking the Flash out, reflashing it, putting it something else on there, like a custom Linux kernel. Uh -huh. Or if you were extra slick, you could plug in like a, a USB hard drive to the USB hole and get it to boot off of it. If so you now I've got this USB hard drive sitting there. On the floor. 
defeating the purpose of having the It's a lot easier than having a laptop with a power cable and then a DVI cable and oh, a whole yeah. bunch, you know. It'd be real good for our media box in the living room hooked up to the TV. Yeah, if you use it, like, dude, check this out. The only, oh, it didn't have a network thing was the other problem. There's got to be some sort of network thing. Well, no, you'd have to use, like, a USB, um, like, network card or something. Uh, someone I needs didn't, to make one that's... I didn't see a network thing on it. There might be an Ethernet hole in the back of it. Like, you just put... You have the Ethernet in the wall. That would make a lot... It could be wireless built in. Could be wireless built in. I didn't see it, though. And I didn't see words saying it. But it could. If it had that, you just wouldn't need a PC in your living room. You plug this thing in, and you just have all the TiVoing, Myth TVing done by another computer, and you just use the... Windows CE thingy to do a connect. Yep, some sort of Samba share, maybe some X forwarding. Like a thin client. So uh, we realized that it's hard for us to talk about science and tech, even though we made it a bit, because uh, all our good banner comes from us arguing with each other or disagreeing or saying things the other person doesn't know. We agree on science. I don't see how you could disagree on science, seeing as it's facts. Yes. I mean, if there's evidence that says X is true, and we both see that evidence, then we both agree that X is true, and our COD podcast basically goes, hey, uh, so uh, evolution is pretty much a fact, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Hey, you see that chair? Yeah. What color is it? Kind of bluish. Blue? Yep. Yep, yep. Yep. See, now, if I had said green, it's not really that entertaining because, well... I'm just wrong. Yeah, I would say, no, it's blue. And then I'd post a picture on the blog, and then the world would go, oh, it's blue. Maybe Colin, our colorblind friend, wouldn't, but everyone else. <laughs> Sucks to be colorblind. <laughs> especially if you like German board games. Yeah, especially the camel game. Oh, God, it's like four different color, like Four pastel. different pastel camels. <laughs> it's a good game. Oh, hiccups. What do you do about those in a podcast? You punch someone squarely in the solar plexus. <laughs> Come here. No. It'll cure him. I guarantee you won't be hiccuping anymore. You know, actually, science says differently. What do science say? Science says that hitting someone in the solar plexus does not cure the hiccups. Um, I believe we could conduct an experiment to find out. Well, you know what? I don't really have any hiccups anymore. <laughs> we'll see about that. We will see, but you know what? Science. But, I mean, despite the fact that you can't really disagree on science unless the evidence isn't clear enough. Like, uh, say there's not enough evidence for something. And so you don't have a theory yet. You still have a hypothesis. Yeah. So if you have a hypothesis, and I have a hypothesis, I like to say hypothesis. Yep. The most we can And do there's is no it. experiments conducted yet that are conclusive, then um, who's to say? Yeah, and we both seek out more evidence. See, you know how you can disagree on science? If one of the people you're you're discussing science with doesn't understand science. Yep, or if someone is stupid. You know, if you don't understand science, it's the same as being stupid. Yeah, or if someone is misinformed, but that gets fixed immediately when you get the facts out. The part of the problem is some people will disagree on the facts... And then, therefore, they can't agree on a conclusion because they've got the facts wrong to begin with and won't look at actual evidence showing them they're wrong. The only way to disagree on facts is, number one, if you um, – the, the, the place where you're getting your facts from, like if it was a study, you might claim that the study was done improperly. Yep. Or two, you just don't like it and you're denying it. I think two is the biggest part of this. Two is a pretty big problem. I mean – America is still debating evolution. And every other country in the world is laughing hysterically. I mean, during the uh, original Scopes Monkey Trial, so long ago, I mean, we're talking before World War II. Even back then, the French newspapers had headlines like, Americans debating facts, or Americans are stupid, or I could pull out some actual headlines if you wanted me to. <laughs> it was just, they were making fun of us then. Yeah, I, the one thing I heard from another country was this British guy, and he was basically saying how in Britain they're paying real close attention to it uh -huh. because they're worried that it'll come over there next. Australia like, it, like if is they the same way. Like if they win in America, that next they'll be coming to Britain trying to win, and they don't want that. A bunch of Australians who were pro-intelligent design got together because they saw how well it was going in America, and they decided they were going to push it in Australia because the... I forget exactly how their government is set up, but... 
like their equivalent it's of parliamentary, minister. I think. Yeah, but I mean like the different departments or whatever. Oh. But their equivalent of like a minister of education is kind of pro intelligent design. Supposedly. And these people were like, Yeah, ID, ID, go. And the government put a blanket statement out saying intelligent design is not 